What is going on everyone, Bitter Hyena here. So the Pokemon company has finally been doing some pretty cool stuff with their packaging lately. The first thing that they did was release that very cool Pikachu and Eevee Pokeball collection that came with this giant Pokeball, the Pikachu and Eevee figure, and then a couple packs. And then of course there's two awesome promos. Now here I'd say about a week or so ago, maybe two weeks, they released a new kind of tin. It is these very cool Pokeball tins. Now I've been keeping my eye out for these and I haven't seen them anywhere in like retail stores. Now I did see that the Pokemon website was selling them and I was about half tempted just to go ahead and order them on there. But like always, I went out to my local Target and they are the only ones that have actually gotten these in. Now if you don't know too much about about them it's just a simple little tin they kind of open up this way and then it's got I believe three packs in it and a coin but what's really cool is with the display boxes there's six of these in a box there's five pokeballs and one very cool quick ball now when I first heard about these tins I was pretty sure that these quick ball ones were gonna go well quick so I pretty much thought I wasn't gonna be able to get my hands on one unless I got lucky or ordered one offline or something like that but when I finally did find these at Target there was like five or six to displays and there was only one of these missing so apparently they're not going to be too hard to find but I am happy I got one it does look very cool as you can see you got the blue and gold color there now in today's video we aren't going to open both of them we're just going to open the normal pokeball one now I have heard these things have been having some very good pulls in them now the best test will be to see if I can actually pull something out of these so let's go ahead and figure out how this opens okay so it's e pretty easy to open not too bad it's got like a plastic rim down here and then the insides kind of just like you know generic little tin inside and then what in the world coin is this wow that is a very dark Zoroark pin or pin coin very cool though man that is like really reflective too you can see the camera up there dang kind of cool I don't like the fact that it's like void of color completely kind of weird but it's all right it's a different pen than we've seen so i'm happy with that part so let's see what packs we've got we've got a burning shadows breakthrough and a crimson invasion not too bad happy that there's actually two sun and moon packs in here but boy just like the pikachu and eevee pokeball collection these packs are like destroyed geez hopefully the cards inside aren't the same way all right so let's see okay there we go there is your code for the breakthrough pack it's been a quite a while since we've opened any breakthrough all right so three to the front let's see what we've got here we are starting off with heavy boots a sand slash ursa ring a chespin noivat a piplup another chespin this is the set with all those freaking chespins in it Bronzor. Ooh, Reverse Bridget. That would have been good a while ago. And on the end, we have a normal Noivern. So, nothing out of the first pack, which I'm not too upset about. I'm not too big on the X and Y packs. So, moving on to Crimson Invasion. Let's see. I'd really like to pull, you know, a Buzzhole, maybe? That would be sweet. Or, who else comes in this? Gladian or... Galdian, or however you say his name, whatever. Lusamine's son. i just put that there. All right, let's see what we've got here. We've got Hakamoto, a Mill Tank, Peking Red Card, a Mankey, Aaron, a Corefish, Ghastly, very cool Ghastly art there. We've got a Hound Hour, a Reverse Gorgeist, and on the end, we have a normal non hollow rare Orangaroo. So once again, not too good of luck but we do have a burning shadows left now if i'm gonna pull anything i want it to be out of this set let's get that hyper rare charizard imagine pulling a hyper rare charizard from one of these tins now these things are only like 12.99 which isn't too bad for three packs and a coin plus you get the pokeball tin which is a nice little collector's thing there all right let's see what We've got in this last pack, start off with a Charmeleon, a Bufalant, a Livia, a Krogunk, Togedomaru, a Wimpod, a Lolan Vulpix, a Meowth, a Reverse Lycanroc, and on the end, finally, we have a Hollow Deancey. Uh, here we go with a crappy English 
pull luck, but it's a hollow, so I guess I will take that. Hopefully out of the quick ball, we can pull something a little bit better than just one single hollow. But alrighty guys, like I said, just a quick video for you today. Just wanted to check out and see what these tins were all about. See if I could actually get some luck from one. Alrighty guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. If you're new, subscribe in. Check out another video while you're at it. Don't forget to hit the little bell button, get notifications when more videos go up. Stay tuned to the channel because I do have a box of SM9 Tag Bolt on the way here. And this time around, I ordered it a different way than I've ever ordered Pokemon cards before. I decided to go ahead and try out Amazon Japan, which honestly I thought was going to be some big, like confusing thing to do but honestly it was probably the easiest thing ever it wasn't too bad either i actually got it for probably the cheapest price that i could find right now so it should be here within like the next week or so something like that so stay tuned very cool cards in that set but as always guys thank you so much for the love and support it is greatly appreciated and i will talk to you all later see ya